in order to really survive and thrive in space, we need to make things in space. And so the 3D printing or additive manufacturing technology is, is really perfect because all you need to do is have a feedstock and then you can send the files. You send zero mass into space. You send bits and bytes into space, digital information. And then you make the parts and objects at the destination using local materials. Uh, we want to 3D print at any destination we go to. The official destination for NASA is Mars. Uh, we're going to Mars. Mars. Uh, uh, the moon may be a waypoint on the way to Mars, and asteroids may be a waypoint on the way to Mars. Fortunately, these planetary surfaces are covered with a common material, which is basalt. Basalt is a mineral. And we have other minerals in space, too. So, for example, on the moon, the lunar regolith has 42% oxygen. And that's silica oxide, titanium oxide, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, iron oxide. So the trick is to separate the metals from the oxides. We separate the oxygen from the metals, and we have breathing air. The waste product is your feedstock for making parts. Wow. So we have no waste. We have free energy from the sun. All we need is the ingenuity and expertise of designing these machines that will extract the oxygen, extract the metals, make the metals into a feedstock like a powder, use a 3D printer to make a part, and now we have a self-sustaining civilization in outer space. So we're developing a variety of different robotic tools and mechanisms to excavate the regolith. Regolith is this crushed basalt that covers the planetary surfaces. So we're going to excavate the regolith and then transport it to a processing plant. And then that processing plant can extract the resources and, and make feedstock. There are billions and billions of times the resources in outer space than there are on Earth. Uh, what NASA is doing is, is we're, we're stretching beyond that. Uh, we're looking at large structures, uh, civil engineering structures, uh, landing pads, habitats, roads, so we are looking at, at expanding beyond what industry is already doing today. Uh, in my lab, which is called the Swamp Works, we're looking at more of the civil engineering type of applications. So in, in my world, 3D printing is already old, but the, the next wave is digital materials. And digital materials are robotically assembled voxels. So a voxel is a 3D pixel. Everybody knows what a pixel is on a computer screen. Take that pixel, which is a two-dimensional object, and make it a three-dimensional object, like, say, a cube. Now find a way to robotically assemble these voxels into a, an object, a 3D object. If you could make a digital material with discrete digital elements that can be oriented and bonded in, in any way you want, then you have the ultimate manufacturing technology. So I think the future is digital materials. If you make things in space, and the things you make make other things, you have exponential growth. When you have exponential growth, everything just becomes unimaginably rich. It just takes off, and you have nothing that can stop you because you have free energy and unlimited resources in space. So at that point in time, civilization will go out into the universe. Yeah, well thank you, and thank you for people like you who actually go out there and dedicate their lives yeah. to this vision. Yeah. You know, thank that's, thank that's you, and I'm looking forward to the symposium. Yeah.